Hello, my beautiful love bugs. Welcome to Rella Carol with Renee. This is your general love reading for all signs. Sun, rising, Venus, North Node. Okay. Hope you guys are all doing amazing and it's having a wonderful start to your weekend. Auntie is shut in and working, working across the board, but I can't um, neglect my babies because, you know, this retrograde is, um, you know, having a lot of you go through like um, some really tough uh, times right now. But it's not that the times are tough, you guys. Uh, the energy that I'm strongly picking up is that you guys are transitioning. Some of you guys um, is for your spiritual growth. And uh, some of you guys is for uh, both your spiritual growth, your well-being, your health, as well as your um, overall uh, abundance, whether that's um, financially, morally, you know what I'm saying? Anything that's bringing you, uh, that's going to bring you peace and growth is what you guys are going through. And yeah, temperance is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Sagittarian energy, temperance angel is here. Yeah, somebody is going through a rebirth. Do what I just say, transformation. And I'm sitting here shuffling these cards for you guys. I put the Thing down here because you guys I can't be so loud some of y'all not all y'all but y'all y'all use mostly y'all used to it yeah 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 you're going through a transformation temperance angel like I said I can feel in the energy before anything ever pops out y'all know me right wow this is this is really good so listen with the energy I'm feeling here is that you guys are, for some of you guys, you're being forced to go through this transformation, okay? You could be a Sagittarius, it doesn't have to be, you could be a Scorpio. It doesn't matter. Listen, you guys are being forced to go through this change, through this awakening to uh, somehow find peace and balance within your uh, your lives, Okay? And um, you guys, during this retrograde, are getting a lot of wake-up calls, a lot of, um, um, you're going through literally an ego death, you're going through um, something that is requiring you to change for your highest good um, overall. Including letting go of people and places and things that no longer serve your highest good for your mental stability, your overall spiritual growth. And that is a good thing. Now, the problem with that is, is that it's very uh, painful for a lot of you. So I just spoke to a friend earlier and I, you know, we always check on each other every day. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Type energy. And, um... I told him, I was like, I feel great. But ironically, as much as I feel great, I woke up in tears. But these were not my tears, love bugs. These were the, I'm an empath. So I feel energy is really, really strong. And I can feel in the energy around me that there is either people close to me in my life or even my collective who is going through a really, really tough transformation and it's very painful for them to go through this rebirth and it's bringing about sadness, a lot of truth, a lot of clarity and um, it's causing um, one to come into balance with themselves, okay? With the temperance angel being here, Archangel Michael. Yeah. Coming into this death slash rebirth energy you guys could also uh have an energy around you or in your energy pool that wants to come in yep and have a rebirth with you reconciliation two of cups here somebody wants to come in and bring balance to a connection possibly mm. or has let go of a connection for some of you guys take it how it resonates yeah Nah, Knight of Cups is re is is reconciliation. Yeah, Knight of Cups energy, Pisces energy. 
Somebody is coming into balance with themselves. First card out is the temperance angel. So you very well much could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> All the water signs are here for sure. Or you could have any of these placements in your chart. Yeah, Page of Swords. Somebody is going deep within as well, but this is also someone watching you, uh, studying you, or you, them, take it how it resonates, and trying to figure out how to bring balance to this connection. Yeah? Give it to me. Drop it. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Four of swords. Something needs to be laid to rest. Judgment. Off the top. Nine of Wands. Somebody fears judgment as well. With regards to this Two of Cups um, energy, somebody is very guarded. Four of Swords could be dealing with the Libra here. This is Libra energy, Page of Swords. This is a younger, could be a younger fire sign as well. Watching, wanting to, um, wanting to put it into a situation, right? Put it into something. Mm-hmm. Wanting to recover, uh, Four Swords also speaks of recovering or coming in. They want to renew something. But the problem is, is that they fear judgment when it comes to renewing a, a connection with this Two of Cups that they want to come in and offer. Yeah. Proposal of marriage, relationship, something that they definitely want to come in as the Knight of Cups and sweep you off your feet. Look at him. He got the roses in his head and everything like babe. Let's Listen, but they're watching you to see if you have fe healed from a situation, which is why Page of Swords fell under temperance because temperance is a healing card. Temperance is reconciliation as well as another reconciliation card. This is a healing card, the harmony, peace, right? Someone's watching you to see if you've healed, right, from a situation. If you've actually laid the past to rest, right? And they, they're in this energy because they, a couple of things. They don't want you to pass judgment on, on them, but some of them. But regardless of anything, a judgment call is being made. Some type of um, decision here, if you will. Some type of final decision, wake up call on what this really means or what this love connection means to someone, right? Falling under the Two of Cups. Nine of Wands here, but someone is defensive. Someone knows you're defensive, right? With the Nine of Wands energy here. Guarded, right? Keeping your boundaries or whatever. And someone is going to have to fight through these boundaries. It's Nine of Cups energy, right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Pisces energy. Could have a Pisces moon or something like that rising. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Someone knows that they're going to have to break through these barriers here in order to get to you because it's like, this is, this is that. I don't really trust you type energy, but I feel there's love here. I feel that there's love here in this energy that's coming out and this a little moon a luna deck is going to tell us what this is yeah on the bottom of the deck we got the nine of pentacles somebody's wish fulfillment here yeah thank you clarifying i want to clarify that again since that was from the bottom of the deck is the energy i always uh, pay attention to what spirit tells me Give me more on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles is in the reverse here. There's no more juggling. This is someone is sure now. Yeah. Someone is sure with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse about this Nine of Pentacles, right? That's a good thing. 
give me death and rebirth here. Yeah. Seven of wands. Yeah. Coming out of this, these, um, what do I, what do I want to say? Coming out of, uh, illusions and, uh, defensiveness when it comes to this connection as well. Um, but someone is also has been kind of like stalling out or you know what I'm saying? Wanting, wanting to give up on a connection. They could feel that energy in you, within you collective, or this could be your energy to the eye resonates. Yeah. Ace of cups. Yeah. On the two of cups. There it is. This is mad love that someone has for you, collective. It's very strong. It's very undeniable. And someone is finally having some type of aha moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Seven of Wands in reverse. This is somebody who was... Um, they could have been very uh, weak-minded about a situation. Um, or didn't see... I don't want to say weak-minded, but somebody just felt like it was felt it was unattainable at some point. You get what I'm saying? So it was just like it was easier for them to just walk away at one point and let it go. But the the energy is now is that three of cups is here. They really want to come into celebration with you. For some of you guys, you guys could have had this fall out over a third party, but the energy I'm feeling here, three of cups falling out after the uh the the ace of cups on top of the nine of cups is this is someone who's definitely wanting to come in and show you how much they really care show much that they how how much they really do want to be with you and bring the connection back to where it needs to be Temperance being on the on the top part, yeah. We got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, yeah. So, <laughs> listen. So the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody who's very. You're dealing with a very stubborn energy, as well, right? They feel like or you could be very stubborn as well too. This is what they see, but this is them. You know, this is somebody who didn't really want to put in the work before they want they want the connection but they feel like it's going to be too hard to bring it back you know what i'm saying to uh bring it back to balance basically on this page of swords somebody who wants you to really just let the past go but not put in the work that needs to be put in um to actually make it work you get what i'm saying or they feel it's just going to be too difficult Maybe because of things, so much things, so many things that happened in the past. Yeah, five of wands, lots of obstacles and challenges. Yeah, they feel like it's going to be too much of a heavy burden and challenge. Five of wands on the four of swords to lay something to rest with you. Okay. Yeah. And um, they are very concerned that this is going to be more of a challenge than anything even though they want it really, really bad. Give me judgment. Give me judge it. Yeah. Three of swords. They know they broke your heart. Mm -hmm. Three of swords. And they fear that if they come in to do this, that, that they're going to end up heartbroken anyway. So it's just like, I'd rather not even uh, try. Or You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just dinging, dinging. Yeah. But they want it. They want it. They really, really do. They want it. What's the Nine of Wands? Yeah. Page of Cups. What'd I tell you? They're going to come and try anyways. They're going to come bring this, this offer of love as a page. Yeah. On the Nine of Wands. Anyways, even though they know you're guarded and defensive, but they're going to still try because they know that they broke your heart with the Three of Swords here. Give me one more for the Three of Swords. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, eight of swords in the reverse. Yep. Yeah, they want they want to come out of this. That's a good thing, the eight of swords being in the reverse. Let me tell you why. Because the eight of swords in the reverse 
it's literally somebody is, you know what, you know what, I'm going to break out of this cycle of being mentally stuck about this. I know I broke your heart, but I really want to be with you type energy. I know I broke your heart. I know that I I face harsh uh, judgment and, um, you know, uh, ridicule for the things that I've done in the past. I know I broke your heart, but somebody knows that they have to also face the music and make it right. Eight of Swords in the reverse is someone wanting to come in, break free. This is someone breaking free. And, and is you know, they're going to remain hopeful that they could turn this thing around, right? Knowing how guarded you are with the Nine of Wands being here. But they're still going to come in with this Page of Cups energy. That's someone wanting to give you a love offer. It's small. It's very small, but it's them. This is why they're watching you with the Page of Swords energy here. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like, damn. They just as stubborn as me, right? This could have been their energy as well. Both of you guys, I feel energetically, are both stubborn as hell. Marrying each other or whatever. But this, this, uh, your person, they're going to break this cycle. And that's really good. So they're breaking free from this mental prison, which is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Coming out of heartbreak as well and they're just gonna face the music they're making a judgment call give me the page of the page of cups yeah six of cups there it is reunion they do they want to reconcile with you no matter what they know this is going to be hard but they also know being without you is just not fathomable for them king of pentacles energy yeah they're gonna come in big yeah could be dealing with the king of pentacles Taurus energy. Yeah, big boss type. Mm-hmm. Yeah, four of wands in the reverse. Yeah. Whew. This is somebody who's moving out, uh, moving away. They could be, they could have left another situation to come towards you is what I'm getting with the four of wands being a reverse. They could have been in another family situation and they're leaving that behind. Wow. Yep. Yeah. They're leaving that behind and they're coming towards you um, to make things right. To to literally right their wrongs is the energy that I'm gathering here. <clears throat> What's this person's intentions towards my collective? What's their overall intentions towards my collective? What are they wishing for? Yeah. Newfound perspective. What are they wishing for? Collective. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Clarity. Truth and clarity. They could have received it. Gotten some. Um, they're seeing things from a higher standpoint, most likely. But yeah, they're using their higher judgment. Will of fortune. Yeah, the tables have definitely turned. Yeah. And judgment is being called. Yeah. Yes, four wands is now in the upright. They're making the judgment to come towards you. Yeah, with the that that the good luck and fortune. So they could have been in a bad family situation before. So so this could be an actual marriage that they left behind, a relationship or a long term commitment of some sort, or they could have left behind um, differences with actual family members take it how it resonates that's the energy that i'm getting but they want they see good luck and fortune with you they're making a judgment call they're seeing things in a newfound perspective right they're they're seeing things your way basically collective right they could have gone deep within and, and, and got some inner introspect or whatever but judgment they're making a judgment call final decision to come in towards good luck and fortune when it when it comes to you guys okay four wands i love this is my 11 11 card this could definitely be twin flame energy here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody wants a family with you. They want to reconcile. I can't make this up. They do. They do. Yeah. You don't see it coming. This has been hidden from you. Collective. Yep. A page of cups again. That they want this love union. I can't make it up. You got the page of cups on here twice. Come through, spirit. 
What is it? What is it for this person? Yeah, King of Pentacles in the reverse. They're be and they're coming towards you, but they could have lost a lot with the King of Pentacles being in the reverse. They could have lost. They could be taking a complete loss uh from leaving this family situation to come towards you. They don't care. That's the energy that I'm feeling here. They don't care. Yeah. They don't care. This is also one who's very jealous and don't want to see you with anyone else. They can't imagine it. Yeah, King of Wands in the reverse. Wow. Someone who, <laughs> wow. They're not quite ready. They're not ready. They're not fully ready. But what they want to do is come communicate to you that, look, I'm not fully ready to be in a committed relationship fully. That's why they're coming in as a page. Yeah, this is why they're coming in as a page. But they want you in their life in some capacity until they continue to get their shit together. Yeah, chariot. I can't make it up. <laughs> they're coming. Cancerian energy. You guys could be dealing with a cancer or be a cancer yourself or have this in your uh, energy pool. Queen of Swords. Look at that. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. There they come. They're coming for you. Damn. They're coming for you. Some of them could have lost a lot of money financially. They, uh, due to them being the King of Wands in the reverse as well, somebody who just had really weak uh, morals, uh, someone who could have treated you horribly in the past, Someone who just wasn't ready to, um, someone who wasn't ready to be in a committed relationship, right? And uh, with you, or they chose a different route and it's no longer serving them in this past energy here with the four of wands in the reverse. So if they were, if you've known them to be in a relationship, they're not long, they're no longer in that relationship. They moved out of that relationship. Um, because it could have been not serving to them. And of course, you know, Atine is going to pull some energy for y'all, right? You know, what's going on for my collective? What's going on here? Yeah, this is, you know, and it's so crazy how these cards come out. It's not, listen, it's not just me, it's other readers too. Yeah. So... He was like, oh, yeah, I just seen the same thing off of each other. No, you see the cards. This is why I shuffle and show everything on camera. So you guys, listen, I don't, we don't know. None of us are doing that, <laughs> right? Especially when we're sharing the cards. You guys can watch Tara long enough to know, right? Mm. Yeah, in the past, they could have definitely played in your face, being very sneaky and manipulative in the past, right? Now they want to come in pulling out all the stops to win you over. They don't want to let you go. <laughs> but see, you guys are in a, at a crossroad with this per at a crossroads with this person, and that is the absolute truth, because the nine of wands is here. You're at a crossroad with this person. You're very defensive. You don't trust them. You feel like you you gave all you could in the past, and it didn't serve you either. Yeah. Queen of Swords energy. Wow, it is so funny how the Queen of Swords fell out right after the chariot. Mm hmm. They're coming. They're not quite ready, but they're getting ready. Yeah. They're going to argue with you when they come in because not only are you defensive, but they're defensive too. And they're defensive because of the guilt that they feel about the heartbreak that they caused. Three of Swords is here on the board. Yeah. They know they broke your heart. They know they broke your heart. Three of Swords is heartbreak. They know that they owe you an apology. They know they owe it to you to make it right with you. Especially for the simple fact. And the only fact is that they love you. You're like, how could this person love me and they did all this fucked up shit? Well, you'd be surprised how people run from the truth. I can't make this up. Wow. Well, okay, spirit. Well, gossip then. Yeah. You told the truth and I, you, you told the truth and it struck a nerve with them. You told the truth and they didn't like that. So they caused you chaos and mayhem. 
wants control over you for some of you guys. Yeah. Clear and cleanse your chakras to allow new positive energy to come in. This is something that this person could have been working on behind the scenes, but you've definitely been working on this collective. Yeah, something out of a movie scene is what you've dealt with with, the, with this person in the past, which is why you're strongly in this Nine of Wands energy. Very defensive because the average person would have slit their wrist. Lord, please don't do that, babies, okay? Unable to clean up the mess that they made because energetically, you're the only one who knows the truth. See, they, the real, real truth. Everyone else speculates the truth. They know they're not telling the truth. They are only speculating what the truth really is. They know. A lot of people know what it is. Yeah. But somebody is coming in to offer you love, marriage, proposal. Could be a new person too in your energy field. Yeah. Give me more from this deck, Spirit is saying. Ooh. Collective. If this is y'all's story, sound off in the comment field. I can't can't even shake this energy. That is mad ass crazy. This person wants so bad to be with you and reconcile with you, but they're watching you and they're stalking you to see if you still love them. Do you, you know, they're they're trying to get any clue that they can to see how you energetically feel, especially if you guys are in communication with them. Um, I hope if you did go into communication with them, you spoke your truth and you, tr you told the truth about how you felt. And maybe when you, if you did and you did that, that resonated with them in some way. Yeah, look, guarded energy. Yeah, you still guard it. Y'all still guard it from this person. But for some y'all, rightfully so, yeah. But this person has done some self-reflection. They are being forced to by spirit. Temperance angel, first card out, sending you messages through hit music, through hidden mess hidden messages through music. Excuse me, Lord. But spirit is saying you're protected in your spirit by your by them and your spiritual ancestors. Yeah. Their mother don't like you is a big issue here. Yeah. Didn't I say you guys could have had third party interference as well? They want to come in a celebration with you, but this three of cups is also third party interference. Yeah. If it's not their mama, it's a mother figure, someone very prominent in their life who don't like you, but they don't, I don't feel like, I don't get the energy that they, they don't have a real reason to not like you. I feel jealousy more than anything, maybe because of how much you guys love each other. Yeah. Somebody's been spilling secrets or they want to come in and spill some secrets about what's really going on, possibly with this mother situation or just what's going on in their life. Yeah, and they felt ambushed and got caught off guard. Mm. It's your winning season. Lucky's on your side. Keep going. Yeah, and it is because babies, look at the Wheel of Fortune right here. Don't play with her. Yeah, you guys are in your winning season. And this person is watching you go in your winning season. Yeah, they've been serving karma for hurting you and betraying you. Off the top. Listen, enforcing boundaries. This is what you guys have been doing. This is what this is. Your person could now be in that energy of enforcing boundaries because the things that they did to you, they're now getting back in karma because they're serving it for betraying you. So the same hurt that they put on you, they're serving, they're serving karma for that, which means that this could have been done back to them. It backfired. Mm -hmm. So now spirit is enforcing the boundaries, not just them, but spirit as well. Yeah. Yeah, so why spirit is protecting you. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. They're fed up though, because spirit is fed up. Spirit, spirit is fed up with this person and the drama and the bullshit that they cause. So this is why this is the energy. Yeah, queen of cups, which are loving, beautiful selves. Very nurturing, very just radiant, motherly to this person. Yeah. Yeah, eight of wands. Is this an upgrade? Okay. Yeah, unable to communicate. You don't want to communicate with them. Queen of swords on the bottom. Woo! Because of the heartbreak. Laying it, yeah, over this family dynamic. Yeah. Could be going on to bigger and better options. Yeah. 
celebration. Yeah, with friends and family and things of that nature. And taking a leap of faith in your own life, right? And getting justice. Because it's in the upright. Libra energy. Definitely could be the Libra Queen of Swords is here on the board. Which could be a Libra Gemini or Aquarius. Take it out. It resonates, okay? You guys, this is the reading that I have for you. This is what's coming towards you guys. Um, let me know how this is resonating with you, okay? Let me, well, you know what? Let me, let me give you guys a, 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 not a final outcome, but a potential outcome to this situation. Let me just scoop these on up. What's the potential outcome for this situation? Yeah. Because that's your energy. Like, you guys are moving in, you know, and the Seven of Cups for you guys, too, is you guys could have multiple suitors. Um, as well as options in your life in love and happiness and just everything. Like you have, you, you've opened up the portal to options and freedom, you know, to move about the cabin and decide what you want to do. Coming out of illusions from things that no longer serve you. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good place to be potential outcome for this connection Oof. on the split emperor and the queen of cups i see how they fall out <clears throat> using the mystic beauty um tarot deck easy um easy tarot deck you guys go to her etsy shop visit mystic beauty um if you like to receive this deck and she's not paying me for this i just love her energetically i love her Ten of Wands, yeah, potential outcome. Ten of Wands, it's going to be a heavy burden if you move fast with this person, yeah. And it'll put a heavy burden on your Ace of Pentacles if you move forward fast with this person. Page of Swords, in the reverse, somebody is mentally restless, undeliverable, promises lies, gossip, yikes. Mm. Yeah, end of a cycle, completion. Damn potential outcome the cycle is completed because somebody is um all talk no action when it comes to this ace of pentacles is uh, manifesting a new beginning with you yeah devil in the reverse yeah detach breaking free of power yeah yeah power reclaimed you're reclaiming your power that's it. That's it. Yeah. As you're going to walk away. A lot of you guys energetically will walk away because if you go back to this energy, it will drain you and deplete you because this person is not ready. So with that being said, give me one more on this. Yeah. Four of Swords laying it to rest. Yep. Laying it to rest because one, Seven of Swords is here. You do not trust them. This is a liar, a cheat, a thief in the past. And you feel like this will just be a repeated cycle. They are a fool. This is how you see them off the top. Four pinnacles. Ooh, that flew across the room. Let's see what it was. Yeah. Mm. Four pinnacles here. Somebody, um, you're going towards your stability. You're taking a leap of faith towards your own stability. Okay. Yeah, and you're leaving this person out in the cold. That is the energy here. This person is was too foolish in the past. Mm-hmm. They are too foolish. So you're laying it to rest. Too many it's just too much betrayal, backstabbing, and deceit. Yeah. This person wants a new beginning, but you're leaving them out in the cold and you're going towards your stability. Yeah. It's just a missed opportunity. It's a missed opportunity. That's the potential outcome, love bugs. I hope it resonated with you guys. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this video. And get let it get out to whoever needs to receive this message. Um, thank you guys so much for your support to Real Life Tarot Channel. Um, in our family and community, we um, we are a beautiful family over here. So if you guys have not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and um, catch the lives. I will. I usually only do the collective lives 
um, as well as the um, Libra um, lives, right? And if you, if I do a poll, I'll ask you what you, what next sign you want me to read and the one who's the winner, then I'll go live with that person. I'll do that as a um, general, just upload it, read. But I love you guys so much. And um, yeah, this is what's going on for you guys over the weekend. So good luck to you all. Keep your energy high. Keep your vibration high. And I see you guys on your next read. I love you, babies. Bye.